first. Leading off the bottom of the first. Busts out the whooping stick on Brian Rose. Troy O'Leary can't make the catch. Knoblock's 20th career leadoff home run. Third home run of 99. one nothing Yanks. Top of the sixth. Hideki Arabu starting for the Yanks. Youngster. Against Brian Dombach. Uh-oh. Hideki's going to have to cover first. Tino Martinez, hot smash. Arabu gets over. And the Yankee fans love it. Tino smiles, everyone. <laughs> trying to hide it but top of the six two men on for Mike Stanley Erob God fourth of the year for Stanley three run shot four one Red Sox and with Wayne Gretzky in the house no more honors him at the plate he got many people have caught up to him first career home run in Yankee Stadium for Garcia Parra how about that sixth of the year Red Sox go on a win beating the Yankees five to two the Red Sox now lead the Yankees by two and a half games Doobie shattered. Dave Hollins, first home run of the year. Afterward, he says, it's nice to finally be able to contribute. Now 5-3 Jays, ninth inning, one on, one out. Kareem Garcia is your tying run. Lifts one deep to left. Shannon Stewart with an adventure out there, but makes the catch. Jays hold on to win by the final of 5-3. First time in a month, Toronto's fashion together back now. Brown earned $455,000 for Tuesday night start alone. Paris will make $275,000 for the season, nutty, yes, but the have-nots have more wins than the haves. Since he two games over 500 going in, Dodgers just won. To Synergy we go, where Todd Hundley was front and center throughout. Top of the first, two on, two out for Hundley. Steve Paris gets Hundley. Swinging. Nine strikeouts and seven innings of work for Paris. Bottom of the fourth, Reds down, one nothing, two outs. Kevin Brown gets Barry Larkin swinging, but it's a pass ball on Hundley. So instead of three outs... There's been on first and second with two outs. And after Larkin stole second, we have runners on second and third. Michael Tucker at the plate. Singles off the glove of Eric Karros. You might remember Tucker was Brown's nemesis in last year's NLCS. So the Reds up 2-1 on the unearned runs. Top of the night, 3-1 Cincinnati. Danny Graves on in relief. Adrian Beltre, pass Sean Casey, but Pokey Reese, nice range. Graves, nice cover of first. Look at Pokey get over and Graves, nice toe work around the bag. And the Brown and the Dodgers go down despite a great game from Kevin Brown. So Paris tied his career high with nine strikeouts and beat Brown, even though Brown gave up only one earned and set a career regular season high with 12 strikeouts. Said Brown, we're just not playing solid, steady ball. With their first win ever over Kevin Brown, the Reds improved to three games over 500 for the first time since 1996. The Rockies and Astros pick it up, bottom of the eighth, one nothing Colorado. Curtis Leskanek on the mound for Colorado. Carl Everett. Rips one down the third baseline. Jeff Bagwell coming around third. Here's the throw. Here's the play at the plate. We're tied at one. That was dramatic. Bottom of the 12th. Still tied at one. Billy Spires at the plate. Craig Biggio takes off for second. He's called safe. But we look at the replay, and you make the call. Well, Jim Leland made the call. He says he was out, and now he's out of the game. Biggio gets his 15th steal of the year. Next pitch, Bill Spires lays down the bunt. Mike Dijon, the throw to third. Everybody safe. Biggio would later be forced out at the plate. So there's one out. Bases loaded for Carl Everett. Through and past the glove of Lenny Harris into left. Spires come on down. Astros win 2-1 and 12. It may not be any consolation to Harris, who had Houston Cubs down one zip. Houston up the middle. Alex Gonzalez flips to Luis Castillo, who turns the sweet double play. Oh, nice. Castillo also sick with his bat. He was two for three at the plate, and he scored a run. Bottom four, Houston to right field. Mark Kotze coming up, gunning, throws to third. Gets Henry Rodriguez. I don't think Henry ever reached the plate. Bad base running. Bottom seven runners on first and third. Glenn Allen Hill at the bat. Hill hitting 432 in limited play. Grounds into a 4-6-3 double play to end the innings. Top eight, runner on first for Preston Wilson. Mookie Wilson steps on. Preston. Deep to right center. Two run shot. Second homer of the game. Tenth of the year as Tim Jackson lead all big league rookies. There goes Hernandez. The pitch swing. Bottom nine. Cubs down 6-3-2 two on for Benito Santiago, who struck out. Roosevelt Brown piece. Roosevelt Brown has no batting average. Mr. Blutarski has no grade point average. Marlon sold on the Ramirez. Two runners on. That's usually trouble. And it is in this instance. Takes Jim Parquet off the wall. Ramirez with ribby number 57 on the season. Indians up 1-0. It's 2-1 Indians top of the second runner on second. Brooke Fordyce at the plate, but Charles Nagy gets him swinging. Four strikeouts and in seven innings for Nagy. Bottom of the third, runners on first and second. 
Roberto Alomar lines one, grounds one a third. Greg Norton, nice diving stop. That's a double play. That's pretty. Bottom of the seven, still 2-1. Richie Sexton at your service. Solo shot, eighth home run of the year, 3-1 Indians, and that is your final score. If you blinked, you missed this game. Played in a taunt, extremely bearable, two hours, 27 minutes. How long, Mike Hargrove asked a reporter? I think the last time we did that was in 1933. Nagy was tossing a dead ball, inducing 10 ground ball outs to him. To Gary Rath against Russ Davison. Davison's one deep to right, but Matt Lawton is there for the nice catch. Nice catch, Matt, but uh, Junior does you one better. Four zip twins. Christian Guzman to center. Junior, on, you know, he makes so many great plays out there in center field, they become like routine. That's why he's won nine straight gold gloves. Top four, twins up 4-1, but not for long. Russ Davis. You know what? I got to go. Twins cut the lead to 4-3, and Davis is 11th jack of the year. Still in the fourth, Junior. And the Lord said you got to rise up. 18th home run of the year, best in the base. He's got a 14-game hitting streak. Mariners go on to win this game 15-5. The Twins' four-game winning streak got fragmented because... Grissom and Maddox tells him you ain't got to go home, but you got to get up out of here. Six Ks for Maddox in the day, 37 Ks for the year. Bottom five, two zip Braves. Runners at the corners for Jeff Cirillo. Cirillo hums one, but Gerald Williams, play a hating. Williams making up for an 0 for 4 day at the plate. Maddox went seven innings, five hits, no runs, and he watches as Rudy Sienes takes over. Bottom eight, two zip, one on for Dave Nilsson. All right, Dave, we got your point. Nilsson's eighth homer of the year ties the game at two. Top nine, 2-2. Two, two. Bob Whitman pitching to pinch hitter Keith Lockhart. Lockhart on and cracking. His uh, first home run of the year. Well third right career field. pinch hit home At run. Next batter, next Keith pitch. Pinch hitter again, Javi Lopez. Deliverance. He got a real pitch. pretty bad, ain't he? Back-to-back <laughs> -back pinch hit homers. Only the ninth time in Major League history that's happened. Braves up 4-2. Something else that doesn't happen well, often, field, Walt Weiss. Weiss. Tar Heels in the house. The Weiss is first homer of the year. First home run since September 15, 1997. Facing Chris Benson, Mike. Oh, Poppy. Hi, Poppy. Oh, I did not know you could do it like that. Oh, 443 man. feet is ninth homer of the year. 26 feet short of the longest ever at Three Rivers. We're tied at one. Three batters later, Benson facing Brian McRae. Deep it's good. Field. McCray, a three-run homer, his fourth That's off of Chris Benson, the former number one overall Three draft pick. Mets up 4-1. John Franco facing Jose, Jose Guillen with none on. Guillen up the middle to Ed Edgardo Alfonso. Oh. Nice flip to Ray Ordonez. That's tight. Watch it again. Great heads up by Alfonso. Toss to Ordonez. Hey, it doesn't matter if those two guys together were just one for seven hitting at the plate. That was sweet. Mm. And the Mets win it. 8-3. to three. Mets win their fifth game in the last seven outings. Quist was vibing. K's Ray knees, Sanchez. One, two, two K's three, for Oquist in the game. In Bottom again. three. Bases loaded for Matt Fastball Stairs. Two outs. Stairs in the right field. Jermaine Dye goes back at the wall. Nice try, but the ball hits off his heel of the glove. Two runs score. A's up two zip. Top five. Dye. Now at the plate facing Oquist. He goes down looking. Die streak of six straight multi-hit games came to an end. He only had one hit here. Oquist, a no-hitter through five. If he had a no-hitter, we would have led the show with it. Carlos Fables ended that bid right there. Then in the ninth, A's up 5-3. Doug Jones goes to, to pitch to the plate. Instead, the ball goes toward third. I guess it's Jones' new changeup. A's won the game in Texas. Bottom two, Ryan Glenn treating Paul Sorrento like a dog. Sit, Sorrento struck out. He was 0 for 3. Three Ks for Glenn. Top three, Juan Gonzalez doing some work. Lines a base hit over Paul Sorrento said. Mark McLemore scores 41st RBI of the year for Gonzalez. Rangers up four zip. Bottom four, Johnny Oates checking out his rookie. Glenn as he schools Canseco. Daddy Canseco just one for four in the night. Bottom five, five two Rangers, one on. John Flaherty. Oh, oh, oh. Taking Glenn's pitch deep, but Rusty Greer, sweet jumping catch. Rusty making up for three strikeouts. Rangers win the game 7-2. Texas, and here's top one, no score. Hitters, Second, BJ third, no Sir. outs. B.J. Serhoff right hitting it and hitting it well, but Garrett makes a nice running catch to save it. Serhoff did get a hit to extend his hitting streak to 15 games, and Brady Anderson tagged and scored then. Scott Erickson facing Garrett. Scott, you lost. Garrett, two-run jack, his ninth of the year, 2-1 Angels. Bottom six, same score. Anderson again facing Erickson. Scott, ditto what I said a few seconds ago.
Call Garrett Anderson but a because this kid is on a roll. Second homer of the game, first career multi-homer game, 10th jack of the year. Angels going to win the game 4-1. to one. Scott Erickson, your loser, he fools. Giants, Nine iron. Chichi Rodriguez, and, uh, on the hill with the 3-2 count with the 5 iron. Sit down, bite down. Top three, man on for J.T. Snow. Go ball, throw some legs, be the club. His third home run of the year, 111th career, Jack. His dad, Jack, 45 touchdowns in his NFL career. Bottom four, Mark McGuire, eight zip Giants. Oh, I hit it fat. I still think it'll play. Ha, huh. is that your driver or your 3-1? Neither, two iron. 13th home run of the year for Big Mac. Top five, nine one Giants, bases loaded for Bill Miller. I like when brothers think they're bigger than a Miller sumo. That's, that's when I hit him with a little Puerto that's Rican judo. First homer of the year for Miller is a grand slam. slam. First Giants grand slam this year. They led the NL with seven last year. And the six Miller up again with the bases loaded. No, we're not going to have one guy hitting two grand slams in one game. Instead, he bounces to the 3 6 1 double play. Doesn't matter. Giants eke by the Cardinals. Seven. Padres trying to catch the D back snapping. Randy Johnson, top one. Schools Reggie Sanders, Damon Miller, then fires and nails. Kilvio Veras trying to steal third. Big unit, 12 Ks. Top four, Jim Layritz facing Johnson. Police. Miller catches Damian Jackson napping off third. Umpire Ed Montague falling down, but he calls him out from the ground. What, what, what happened? What happened? Can I get a replay? No, you should have been away. Bottom six, Randy Johnson. How about big unit handling his business? His fourth hit of the year, Tony Batista scores all the way from first. Big unit now hitting a fat 114 for Zip Arizona. Top nine, Reggie sent. Sanders gets blown away 100 miles per hour, triple digits. And who said big unit can't bring it? His 24th career shot.